Hey, what's up? This is Frank. We're looking at a Toyota S54 five-speed manual transmission. Okay, this is a transmission that's used in a lot of 90s models cars by Toyota and this one came out of a 1993 MR2 with a naturally aspirated 5 SFE engine. Okay, so this transmission is actually the factory option for that car with that engine. Okay, and just to give you some of the features of this transmission, this here is the housing of the shifter uh, select lever. This is the deferential housing. And this is the bell housing down here, this lower part. What I'm going to show you today is uh, the shortcut method of removing and replacing the differential. This is not the factory approved method that's described in the shop manual. This is a shortcut method that can be used in certain situations. And I do not recommend it for you if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Okay? So, any damage to your transmission that results from doing this is your responsibility, not mine. Right. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is disassemble this transmission just enough to remove the differential. Again, the differential is inside the differential housing right here. Okay, so we'll start by flipping it over on its side. Let me sure I have it in the frame. Okay, yeah, that's good. And inside here, there's two bolts that need to be removed. These go through the bell housing and uh, they hold it onto the case. So we'll just take these out. They're 12 millimeter bolts. Just for the sake of organization, we have put these bolts into little baggies so I can retrieve them later, okay? All right, then we got like these three little bolts here. That might as well remove. I just think they just serve to hold the cover of the output shaft in place, or input shaft, right? But we'll take them out just so they don't get in the way. Right, so with these removed, there is nothing on the lower part of the bell housing that needs to be removed. We'll flip it back onto the bell housing. Let's make sure it's in the frame. Yeah, we're good. Okay, now we go to the bolts of the bell housing. Take all of these out. We go all the way around the bell housing. Take out all the bolts. Okay. And we've already done a little bit of disassembly on this transmission. As you can tell, we've taken out the, the gear selector shaft and its cover. Okay, we removed all the bolts now from the periphery. Let's put them in a little bag. You uh, know, when you're doing this, I suggest that you label your bolts, okay? So you know what came out of where because some of them may be a different length. Not these, these are all the same length. But you never know, okay? So always get in the habit. Label everything we came up to get out. Now, this is another set of bolts right here. We take it out, and we put them in their own little bag. These are right on the differential house. Okay, so at this point, the only thing holding the bell housing to 
the uh, middle case is a sealer, you know, or glue. And we just need to crack it open. So conveniently, there's still a nub here, okay, that we can pry apart. Okay, so it's, it's coming up. I've already broken it apart, but you may have to use a little bit of force on it, right? Be careful when you do stuff like this. You don't want to break anything. Okay. And now we can flip it on its side. Flip this thing on its side. So you can see that it is coming apart. Let me sure you can see this. Okay. You can see how this seam has opened right here. I'm going to help it to open up even further. So there are actually some dowels, there are two dowels that are holding this in place. And once these dowels pop, then everything pops. Fighting the dowels. Here's one of the dowels right here. Okay, so let's get right beside it. Pop it so this dowel is out. All right. So that was a little bit of struggle. Let me attempt this. Okay, so we're almost out all the way around. Just have to give it a little more persuasion. Here's the other dowel. Other dowel is right here. And we always want to be careful. around these dowels to get them to release almost This thing is giving me a little more trouble than I expected. Sometimes it just pops out. Sometimes it does not. But we're almost there. There we go. And we got it. Cracked it open. Okay. So we've separated it. It's separated. All right, we got it. 
And now, let's get it back into the frame. Now that it's separated, there's something very interesting that I want you to see. There's two bolts. They're right in here. And these hold the reverse arm on. And at this point, they are the only thing preventing the transmission from separating the rest of the way. So, let's grab a, it's not a 14. It's a 12 millimeter hex. Slip it in here. Break this loose. And now, you just have to remove these two bolts. One at a time. So you start spacing them both. Okay. These bolts are coming. Okay, so just making more space. And you can see how as I loosen the bolts, the transmission can move, the two parts of the transmission can move further and further away. So this one is almost out entirely. Just a little bit left to get it out all the way. Should have used a ratchet wrench, but the heck, it's too late for that shit now. Sorry, excuse my French. We just patiently turn these. Just patiently turn them, one quarter turn at a time. It's one thing we learn in life as mechanics, whether amateur or professional, is patience. Everything takes its time. And There we go. Almost there. Almost. Okay. One bolt is free. And let's get this one free. That's free. Okay, let's get this out now. There it is. Alright, there it is. It's separated. And this is the differential right here. This one is, uh, stock differential and uh, that's it 
that is all you have to do. And like they say, disassembly is the reverse, or assembly or installation is the reverse of removal. You're right, guys? I don't know how long this took. 15 minutes which is what I promised previously to somebody that this is a job that takes 15 to 20 minutes and we're done.